Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to talk about setting up Profile Manager. Now Profile Manager is probably one of the best perks of Mountain Lion Server. It's certainly one of the one of the greatest features of it. If you have to manage multiple computers within your particular network, within your particular server. So as a home user, if you've got multiple laptops, you've got iOS devices like iPhones and iPads, to manage all of those, to keep the settings up to date, uh, maybe even to keep your kids off of certain sites and things, remembering what configurations that you set up, it can be a real pain to have to go to each of those devices individually and figure out what you've set up and what you haven't set up. Well, the beauty of Profile Manager is that it allows you to make profiles, right, little files with uh, different configurations that you want. You can make configurations for machines like laptops and iOS devices. You can even make configuration profiles for individuals like kids and adults or whoever you want that says here are the services you have access to and here are the ones that you don't. And or here are here is a, a file, a configuration file that sets up all of the services for you such as uh, email or calendar and those kinds of things. You make it in one place and then those profiles can get pushed to all of your devices or your users when they log in. In, and then those changes that you've made take place. And then later, if you want to make an adjustment, you can make an adjustment, and then all those adjustments are pushed out to your users. So it really is a great service to use, and it's great that it's made available to us now as home users to be able to use as well. So this is the uh, Profile Manager screen. I'm going to show you how to set it up in this screencast. And you'll notice again, we've got the basic screen with the big on-off button. We've got uh, two categories, Settings and Default Configuration Profile. Now, I'm not going to turn the big on button on yet because you notice under Device Management here it says Disabled so that it hasn't allowed us to do that yet because it needs to configure it. Which basically means it just needs to check to make sure we have everything we need to make Profile Manager work. Now. For Profile Manager to work, you've obviously got to have your DNS set up correctly, correctly, which we've done in a previous screencast, and you need to have your Open Directory Master created. You need network accounts for this to happen, not just local accounts, because these things are going to be pushed to devices on the outside, and it requires an Open Directory or network account for it to be able to manage these things. And so you've got to have that kind of setup. Now, had you not already set up Open Directory, like I did here, uh, it would Profile Manager would actually set up Open Directory for you, throw the switch and make this green and set up Open Directory over here. I decided to show you how that worked in a, in a previous screencast. If you want to see the screens for Profile Manager where you walk through the wizard, they are identical really to the ones that are available in Lion Server. And so you can go take a look at my Lion Server tutorial and you can see what those steps look like if you're trying to do everything all at once. So if you wanted to, you could just set up Profile Manager before you do Open Directory and it would take care of everything in the wizard all in one step. But since we've already set it up, it's not going to show up that way in our particular setup. So what I'm going to do is under device management, I'm going to click configure. And it's going to go read my settings to make sure, see what I've got available to make sure it's okay to do it. And then it says, hey, you're going to be doing this. You can remotely lock your computers. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with it. Click next to get going. Now here again, we put in an organizational name just like we normally do. I'm just going to uh, you know, use something generic here and uh, put in an email address so you can get notifications. If they need to contact you for support or server authenticity or if someone wants to uh, connect with you, again, more important for a business environment, but again, might as well put it in there for home users as well. Click Next. Now it's going to say, hey, uh, this is an assigned trusted certificate, right? So this was the self-signed certificate that we had set up. And it says, hey, this, this particular certificate, it's, it's not self-signed and mobile devices aren't going to be able to enroll in it unless they trust the certificate first. So it's given us this warning. Now, I'm going to show you later what that means with the trust certificate when you set up Profile Manager. But it's basically just telling us, hey, unless it's identified by an outside organization that's going to vouch for you, which we talked about in our SSL uh, certificate tutorial about how you get a, a certificate like that. And like I said, it's more for businesses, not home users. Uh, unless you have that uh, set up, it's going to throw up flags and errors, and it's going to make it so that your devices can't enroll. That doesn't mean they won't be able to. They'll be able to enroll, but it's just warning us. So don't let that freak you out. It's okay to stick with the SSL certificate that you've got. If you didn't have one created here yet, it would take you through the process of actually creating one. So it is kind of a nice wizard because it makes sure everything's in place for Profile Manager to work. 
Let's click Next. And now it says your server meets all the requirements. So if you want to set it up, click Finish. So we're going to click Finish. And now it's going to go and start to set up our services. And like I've said before, the spinning wheel tells us it's working. It's telling us what it's doing. And now you notice that it's enabled Profile Manager. All right, it's enabled our device management. Now, it's not on yet. The service isn't live. There's no green dot, and I haven't thrown the switch yet. But it's enabling us to do it. There's a couple other things I want to look at first. Uh, the next is signing configuration profiles. I like to check that so that I will sign those things with my particular certificate. And again, it just makes it so that it's, the profiles go out signed with the certificate so that, the, so that people know it did come from me. I'm going to click OK. And now that's all set up. If I ever wanted to edit it, I could click Edit and change to whatever certificate I needed to. But for now, that's fine and works well. Then you've got uh, a default configuration profile, which is settings for everyone. And, and basically what that is, is that's basic settings for everybody that everybody would get as I set up these different services over here. If I click Edit, uh, I can change the profile name if I want to. If I don't want it to say settings for everyone, I'm going to leave it at the default because that's fine. And then it says include, configura include configuration in services, but it says no services are enabled. Well, they're not enabled because we didn't throw the switch. So let me just throw the switch. It says allow access to profile manager from the internet. And it says allowing access is going to configure my airport base station so that it's going to open a port so that the actual profile management stuff can be accessed from the internet. And like I said, this is an advantage of actually having uh, an airport Apple router because it's going to tell you what it's going to do ahead of time. Uh, now, if you don't have an airport router, you're going to have to open a uh, port uh, on your router to make this stuff happen. I'll show you what that port is on the screen here. And you want to actually uh, open that port and then Profile Manager will work for you. If not, it won't work and you'll be very frustrated. So I'm just going to allow there. And so now it's going to configure my Apple router. Let me just show you that real quick. Notice Profile Manager is now showing right here. It's open and ready to go, and it's opened it on my Apple router, and everything's ready to go now. I can access it from the Internet. So it's really kind of a cool deal. Come back to Profile Manager now, and you have two things that have opened up. You've got a user portal, which allows users to uh, log in with their machines. And you'll see it's got a user portal where I can log in. And if I just put that down here, and uh, let's put in my password. And so it's going to take me to a user portal where I can enroll my Mac or I can look at different profiles to download. I'm going to go over those in detail in another screencast on showing you how to enroll your devices. Okay, now let me just uh, close this down. Uh, there's also a profile manager where you can open that. And now you have your own screen where you can manage all of your devices, users, and groups and set up the profiles for them. And again, I'm going to show you more detail on how to do that in another screencast, but this at least shows you what we've set up and how we got Profile Manager going. So that's all I have for this week on setting up Profile Manager. Uh, I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.